billionaire school privatization champion Betsy DeVos. That's Betty Weller, Maryland Teachers Union president, and one of the few education officials in our state who's also an outspoken opponent of America's new education secretary, Betsy DeVos. Fears DeVos will divert $20 billion in federal funds. And instead, send them to expensive, private, religious, for-profit charter schools through vouchers and other school privatization schemes. Officials in other jurisdictions here either declined to comment on this federal political issue or weighed in with a more measured, nonpartisan approach. Howard County Public Schools telling 11 News Superintendent Dr. Renee Foose looks forward to working with the new secretary, whoever it may be. And in a sit down with our Jason Newton today, the head of Baltimore City's school system put an optimistic spin on criticism that DeVos is unqualified for the position she now holds. I hope she's going to come in and be a listener um, because clearly she has a great deal to learn about how schools really function and operate. But, but the reality is that with the passage of ESSA, um, the Every Student Succeeds Act last year, that a lot of the major decision making is now very squarely placed on the state level. And citing DeVos's lack of support for public schools, Maryland's two U.S. Senators, Chris Van Hollen and Ben Cardin, were among the 50 lawmakers today who voted against confirmation. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News. And Kate